If you're not yet ready for fall, this cake should help. Hi, I'm Stephanie. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making pumpkin pie poke cake. This video is in collaboration with my friend Melinda over at the Kitchen Diva. Hey y'all, my name's Melinda and I'm the Kitchen Diva. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, appreciate each and every one of you. Melinda's a sweet lady and a great cook and she loves cooking and trying new recipes just as much as I do. She's a lot of fun to watch because she likes to try new recipes and rate them and also give you fun kitchen tips to help make your life easier. I hope you'll check out her channel. I've left a link to her channel in the description box below. Be sure to tell her I sent you. Okay, here's what you'll need to make this cake. In a large bowl, combine flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, cinnamon, pumpkin pie spice, ginger, and cloves. Whisk it all together. In a separate bowl, combine the granulated sugar and eggs and beat those with an electric mixer. Next, add the canned pumpkin. And beat those together until they're well combined. At that point, you can add the oil. You can use vegetable oil. I used coconut oil. Continue beating it until the oil is incorporated. Now add the mixture to the dry ingredients and mix on low speed just until they're combined. Pour them into a prepared 9 by 13 inch baking pan. Be sure to spread the mixture evenly. While the cake is baking, combine the sweetened condensed milk, heavy cream, and pumpkin pie spice. As soon as the cake comes out of the oven, poke holes all over it with a fork, or in my case, a chopstick. Now pour the condensed milk mixture all over the cake. Make sure you get it in all the holes you just created. Then let it cool at room temperature for about 30 minutes. After that, cover it and refrigerate overnight. In a mixing bowl, combine the softened butter and the softened cream cheese. Beat those together for a moment, then start adding the powdered sugar. In another bowl, beat the heavy cream until stiff peaks form. Now gently fold the whipped cream into the cream cheese mixture.
I should have done this earlier, but now I'm going to chop about three quarters of a cup of pecans. I have removed the cake from the refrigerator and now I will frost it. Then I will top it with the chopped pecans. Now I'm going to cover it and place it back in the refrigerator for another four hours. This is what it looks like after four more hours in the fridge. And here it is. I'm very happy with how this turned out. It's incredibly moist and it has a lot of fall flavors. It doesn't taste exactly like pumpkin pie, but it's close. This was my first time making a poke cake and I'm pretty happy with it. It took a lot of time, but the steps were all very, very easy. The only problem I had was how much space it took up in my refrigerator. If you've got a day and a half to spare, I highly recommend it. It's really tasty and maybe it's worth your time. Don't forget to check out Melinda's channel. I have linked it in the description box below along with the link to this recipe. And remember to join me every Wednesday and Sunday for new recipe videos. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.